All right, welcome to the Blair Watch Project. Today I am selling one of my 6139-6002 yellow dial chronograph, also known as a Pogue. This is not a true Pogue, but it is a Pogue in, in spirit. Uh, these are different from the true Pogues, which are an earlier 6005 variant of this. This is the sort of rest of the world model of the 6139-6000 series. Uh, this one is from 1974. It is um, a really clean watch. It has lived a long life. Uh, the watch was worn uh, throughout its life, but it was not abused. It has a number of service marks in the back, which indicates to me that it was cared for and looked after by its owner. Um, it certainly was had a life on a wrist. This bracelet was was very full and very dirty, but it is uh, pure and clean now. <laughs> I was able to get it get it uh, in good shape. Like I said, this is a horseshoe back, seventy four. So a bit a bit at that transition between the straight back, uh, straight text on the back and the horseshoe back. Um, this is from let's see, it looks like March of seventy four. All the components of the watch are entirely original to the watch. The dial has a date stamp on the back of February 74, and I'll put a picture of that now. I have gone through this watch and fully jeweled the, um, the main spring arbor ports, so that means that um, it is completely bulletproof in terms of its performance and function. Um, at least if it's, if it's maintained as it was, it will last probably a hundred years at this point um, because all of, the, all of the potential issues have been resolved um, with the uh, train of this watch. So those jewels really do help. It's quite, it's quite an um, important process for any of these 6000 series chronographs. Um, everything starts, runs, functions. The, the, the numbers on this watch are super good. This is a, a really, one of the best, in terms of accuracy and performance, it's, it's up there with, with everything I've ever done before. This one is spot on to within a second a day. Great amplitude. It's a really good runner and I'm very happy with the way this came out in the service. I'm really pleased with this watch. Uh, it's got its original tapered H-Link. It, uh, it fits my seven and a half inch wrist. It's got 12 links, proper everywhere. It's, it's the right one. Um, everything functions exactly as it should. You've got your turning inner timing bezel, of course. So that's doing the right thing. Uh, chronograph, start, stop, reset. There that goes. We can also go through the day and date changeover, as you might expect. So there's that. Hands are in great shape. Loom is very, very good after all these years. You can tell that this watch was worn. Um, and worn in the sun. Somebody, somebody faded this, uh, this dial ring. These can be anywhere from very white to a, a real yellow. This is somewhere in between. It's sort of a faded yellow, which I think offsets the dial in a very interesting way. The other thing is, I think this was a Spanish-speaking individual that owned this watch because the, the days of the week that are uh, Spanish are slightly lighter, it turns out. Uh, if you look at the whole day ring, uh, than the rest, uh, than the English uh, versions. So I'm going to go ahead and do the reset after we click over. There we go. So very close to midnight. Hit the reset button and we're back to where we should be. Okay, well, if you're interested in a very clean, unpolished, original Pogue with a, a lot of character and some really good looks, Great performance. This is a good watch. Uh, I I really like this one, and it's um, it's available now. There's a link in the description below. So if you need a Pogue, 
look no further. All right, thanks for watching.